What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. Let me check the microphone. We're good. This is Native Nomads. And today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to install this hide and go seat that's sitting right beside me. It's actually doubling as my tool bench right now. Um, but before we get into the installation and how you can get this done in less than an hour, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Surge Supply. Surge Supply is the company making all of my floors, all of my cabinets. They're doing my ceiling. And if you look back here in the back, you'll see one of my completed and upholstered wall panels. Their link is in the description as well as a 5% discount code if in fact you are looking to purchase or order or do anything with the interior of your van, you can save 5% by clicking that link. So let's get into how we installed this in less than an hour and what steps it takes to get it done. First things first, I apologize for that uh, intro being a bit, uh, hold on, I gotta get in the center of this frame, a bit um, out of focus. The new camera, gotta stay in the box. I'm gonna move the box right now so I can move a little bit more freely. There we go. Okay, so that's what I was sitting on, is the hide and go seat from Alpine Van Works, and I really hate doing handheld videos because it's super shaky, but this is the seat right here. Now the nice part about this seat is it folds down and flips up. <clears throat> that way all of this space comes back to being, whether it's living space, hangout space, whatever it is that you wanna do. We have a family of four, space is a premium. So we have chosen to go with something that's a bit smaller that folds up against the window there. So that being said, it is a very, very easy install. One suggestion that I would make, and I apologize if it gets dark on you, is install this or test fit it prior to installing your floors. We installed the seat, test fit the seat, installed the floors, and that made everything a breeze because once the floor was down, I was able to drill directly up through the floor based on the holes that, that I had already drilled for the seat base itself. It's only four bolts and it pinches the pinch welds underneath. We're gonna go under the van in a minute and I will show you exactly how to install the base plate and what you need to do. It's a half inch drill bit, super simple, um, but I'm gonna show you the base plate real quick. I'm gonna try to lay down here. Okay, so here's your base plate and you got four bolts, two on the front or back, whatever you wanna call that, and two up there. So two towards the front of the vehicle, two towards the rear of the van, and these bolt directly through your floor and directly through the van. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this real quick, go underneath and show you exactly how we installed it underneath the van and how we drilled the holes. Okay, so very simply, here's your arrow. This arrow points towards the front of the vehicle. You have two holes. You have one on your left, one on your right. The one on the right is the short side. It goes towards the gas tank. The bigger plate goes up front the smaller plate goes in the rear and it has the same concept, the same everything. One bolt here, your offset bolt on the short side goes towards your gas tank. Your arrow faces the front of the vehicle. Now the nice part about this, this plate is cut specifically to pinch the welds all the way around everything you have here. So this makes everything secure. Now these are all automotive bolts. If you see, I'm missing a washer. I picked one of those up at Lowe's today because I lost it, but you have one bolt, one lock nut, one washer. Now, one thing that you wanna do after you drill your holes with a half inch bit, you hold this up here, you drill your hole, bark your holes, drill your holes directly through, and then you want to silicone, black silicone underneath here prior to tightening everything down for the final time after your subfloor is installed inside your van. It'll make everything watertight. You don't want any penetration um, from water coming from underneath the van. Also, you wanna make sure that you use, if you can see there, I used black spray paint. Um, I will put the link in the description for the spray that I used. Super simple, 
spray the top, spray the bottom. I sprayed a lot of it because I don't want any type of rust whatsoever. And then I set the seat on the holes, push the bolts down from the top through the bottom once my subfloor was installed and I was able to tighten these bolts up. You do need two people in order to do that. Somebody has to tighten from the top, somebody has to hold from the bottom. You could crimp some vice grips here and as they spin, they'll get caught on the frame of the van, allowing you to tighten everything up, making it super simple for you to do on your own. It literally took us an hour to do and we were done and ready to move on to the next project. So if you're thinking about a seat that gives you versatility, this is one and it is extremely easy to install. Like I said, you have two bolts for each offset to the left or arrow pointing towards the front of the van. Big plate goes up front, super simple. Hole there, offset goes towards the center of the van, towards the gas tank. And that is literally all you have to do to get this installed. Now, something I didn't mention that is probably pretty important, deburr your holes after you use your half inch drill bit. Um, just use a file of any kind, deburr those holes. Once they're deburred, spray your uh, spray paint on there. That link is in the description. I will also put the silicone we use in the description. I really think anything would be suitable for this application. Just make sure you use a lot of it. I also used it from the top. Um, I just sealed those holes really well because it's going to be under my subfloor. I don't want to have to try to get to that later because now I have water coming through the bottom of my van. So everything is locked down. Everything is tight. Everything is tightened down. I do need to put that other washer. Um, if you need to go get another automotive washer from Lowe's, you can get a half inch automotive washer to replace the one that you lost if you lose it like me. If not, <clears throat> installing your hide and go seat can literally take you an hour, hour and a half if you're being very careful and you are ready to rock and roll. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, share it with somebody. We would love to have you along for all of the adventures that we go on and we will see you guys on the next one.